Hello everyone again, this is Downware, doing another brand new, brand spanking new audio commentary for you. <clears throat> Let's see how many times I can clear my throat. Yes, I once again have some sort of cold. I didn't think I was, I, didn't, I never thought I was that sickly of a person until I uh, started doing my YouTube channel. By the way, go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Downware. Check out the 80 bazillion videos I put up there now. I've been putting up all my old audios. Anyway, as I was going through them, I noticed <coughs> that in a bunch of them I'm saying, oh, I've got a cold. So it seems to happen a whole shitload. So I guess I'm a sickly piece of shit, and I never knew it. All right. So yeah, go to YouTube, check out my videos, leave comments. Don't leave comments like, first, or uh, first view, or yay, or things like that, because that really annoys me. Whenever I get a comment, my little uh, trillion thing has a little window pop up. It says, new email, I mean, new comment from YouTube. So I go check it out, say, hmm, I wonder what people thought of all the hard work that I put into this. And then it's some guy saying, first! And then I want to kill him. But hey, what are you going to do? At least he's watching. <coughs> Fucking shit. All right. So I've rambled enough. Uh, I'm going to put two replays in this. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you don't have to worry about syncing it up or anything like that. For everyone else, you get to do it the old-fashioned way. Plus, this will go up a lot sooner on YouTube than uh, the speed of uploading audios on WC Replays, which is about the same speed as old people having sex. So, uh, let's start this first replay. Single player. View replay. And got a tinker. I guess if you're watching this on YouTube, this makes sense. If you're not, then just get the thing started and pause it at 15 seconds, asshole. The one named Tinker Audio. All right, it's Thinker Tinker playing Orc, and he's pink versus all the above, who's undead. The whole shitload of observers. So I'll put it on Thinker Tinker's point of view. Pause it at 15 seconds. So. Coming up here in a second. 15 seconds, it's paused. <coughs> Alright, also before I did this one, I made sure that the in game sound effects wouldn't get picked up when I was recording it, because I'm uh, frapsing it for YouTube and recording it and doing the whole thing at, at the same time. So, yeah, anyway, uh, just in case you for some reason haven't got it paused 15 seconds, I'll just talk for a second here, as if I haven't blabbed enough so far. I said on uh, on my YouTube videos, I, I put little notes called annotations that you can see while you're watching the video. And I think in one of them I said, I need a replay for an audio, and I, I want something original or something entertaining or something. And I'm tired of doing 4-on-4 four -four team game replays, which you're probably tired of watching them. So someone sent me a message and said he plays Tinker only and has, has this, this really annoying strategy. He, he didn't tell me that part, but from watching them I can tell it's annoying. So this is one of the replays he sent me, so we're going to unpause it here. Three, two, one, unpause. <coughs> so anyway, Thinker Tinker here. Gee, I wonder what he's going to do. Get a Tinker? I think so. He's going to get a Tinker. The undead guy, let's see. Undead. Uh, Crypt Fiends and Death Knight. I'm psychic. I'm sure that's what he's going to do. So, all the above start in the upper left corner here. And he is gray, or teal, it's hard to tell. Because my eyes are shitty. And upper right corner is pink. Thinker Tinker. Now, his strategy, like I was saying before, is extremely annoying. But... <coughs> I'm sure it'd be a lot more annoying to uh, play against than to watch, although I did get kind of annoyed. Most of the replays, I was like, okay, this shit is just gay. But it is different, and it was kind of interesting. I've, I haven't really seen too many uh, orc players go and tinker. Now, uh, the tinker, when those heroes came out, was right around the time when I stopped being so interested in the game. And still to this day, I still do not really know exactly how all those neutral heroes work, or those mercenary heroes. I know that he's got his little pocket factory, but I can't figure out why does no one, when he summons the pocket factory, just focus fire on the factory and kill it. What's the big deal? I guess there's probably some reason why they don't do it, but how long would it take to kill a pocket factory? 
got like 300 hit points or whatever at level 1, I think. Anyway, uh, all the above is scouting that peon there for a Thinker Tinker, just to make sure that he is indeed getting a Tinker and not pulling some kind of reverse psychology bullshit. <clears throat> I'm getting a not Tinker for my hero. Fooled you! Yeah, that's not going to happen. So, Tinker's going to come here any second. I guess you got to wait till a certain time of day before you can hire the damn Tinker, obviously. And there's the Tinker Ricket Contraption. What kind of retarded... All right. That's a great name. All the above. Sending his Acolyte back. I don't know what he's going to do with it now. Probably shove it up his ass or something for all the good it'll do him, having an extra Acolyte. Uh, yeah, if you look down in the bottom right there... Thinker Tinker is creeping with his pocket factory. I'm assuming that the creep's AI tells them not to focus on the factory. Because it seems like they've hit it a few times, but they're... You can just sit, just sit here and creep just about anything you want with the Tinker pretty easily, because you summon the pocket factory, you got about a shitload of little fucking clockwork goblins popping out. Then Oh, Tome of Experience. Nice. I, on all his replays that I've seen, he runs around with the uh, Tinker and one grunt. And he uses the pocket factory, and those little exploding goblins kill all the creeps. And I think, well, I guess he's not going to kill these. Maybe he'll get that one right there with the last exploding goblin. Let's see. Uh, I don't think he does. No. <clears throat> um. Yeah. So now he's creeping some more of these Murloc night crawlers in the bottom left corner here. Uh, I guess with the tinker ability. I don't know why I'm saying this because I'm probably the only one that doesn't know, but I guess like his for the second skill you get that um the upgrade whatever it is that makes your pocket factory more powerful, I guess. But uh yeah, how, what is that? Does it give the factory more hit points, make the goblin things more explosive, more damage? I don't who knows. Anyway, uh I don't know, you don't really see the tinker that much. It seems like he's more of like a novelty type thing. And he sent his tinker tinker sent his grunt back to finish off the last of those murlocs. All the above is going to go creep out the mercenary camp on the left side of the map. And maybe he'll hire some mercenaries. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, lightning shield. Oh, the wand of lightning shield. Oh, I'm jerking off. I'm Tillerman. This is the worst Scottish accent in history. Uh, Ren Renegade Wizard is about to go down there. And he drops his ring. Ring of protection plus three. Nice. Alright, back to Thinker Tinker. He's creeping out more Murlocs. Alright, nothing really interesting is happening so far. Uh, this guy likes to build his voodoo lounge, like, a little bit away from his base, like south of it or somewhere. Then he uses the uh, Staff of Teleportation. He keeps running into the enemy base and dropping a fucking pocket factory down there. Pulls one out of his ass, drops it on him. They start, so they start shooting out exploding goblins all over the fucking place, and the other guy gets all pissed off. And then he teleports back with his staff of teleportation. He just keeps harassing with the damn thing. Then he teleports back to his shop and gets his healing solves and his clarity potions, and then just recharges and does it again. And all the, the whole time he's doing that, he has a bunch of towers in his base. And he uh, techs up, and then he gets da 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 da. Well, you'll see. Now he's teleporting back to his voodoo lounge now because he can see the death knight creeping next to him. He's gonna jack him. Reach around time. Nope, he got away. But he dropped that pocket factory, and now it's a it's a fucking three ring circus here with the creeps chasing two of the two heroes across the map, and it's a battle of the ages. Death Knight Baron Frostfell versus Ricket Contraption. Shouldn't Baron Frostfell be like a lich's name or something? No, Frost. What the fuck? That doesn't make... Uh, well, the creeps went back and they got owned by the Pocket Factory. Nice. Well, one of them's still alive. And the Death Knight has to retreat. He's running. Nothing too interesting happening yet. Uh, the undead guy's got a shade in Pink's base. So he can see he's making two bestiaries. Now let's see. Two bestiaries, annoying strategy. What do you think he's gonna do? Nope, not raiders. Something that flies. Yeah. That's right. Flying sheep. You got it. I can't pull one over on you guys. Pocket factory going down under the mercenary camp on the right side of the map. He's sitting here and just like creeping all these fucking creeps. He's got like one grunt and a pocket factory, and 